All right, I'm going to try to go over the wiring scheme uh, for um, the KISS flight controller um, with Betaflight on it. Um, at this time, it has uh, the latest, which is 3.1.7. Um, sorry for the wiring mess. Um, I just wanted to make sure that everything worked before I got it all nice and tight in the tight build. So um, this is going to be a little series of videos on how to wire this up, uh, my beta flight configuration, and uh, so on. Um, but let's go over the wiring um, for right now. All right. So we're going to start over here with, um, if you'll look, I have the uh, Diatone SP3 Racing v VTX, which has um, minimum OSD on it. So um, we're going to go here at the end. I'm going to the flight controller here. Um, these are my TX and RX pads here. Um, let's see here. I already got my trusty pencil here so I can kind of point them out here. Um, it looks like here is the, um, what's going to happen here on the minimum, o, I mean the um, SP Racing or minimum OSD. If you have a little small one, it doesn't make a difference either or. Um, you're going to have your RX and your um, TX pad. So right here is your um, your RX. So your RX is going to go to your TX on your racing SP3, uh, uh, your Diatone uh, SP3 um, a VTX is going to be. So, um, and then we'll go over to the other one, which is your TX, which is right here is going to go to your RX on here. So um, T is for transmit and R is for receive. So you have to have opposite on each one so they can talk back and forth. Um, also, uh, right here on the bottom, right up under the pads, you also have your ground wire um, for your TX and RX pins to your uh, SP3 racing. Uh, SP3, I don't know why I keep saying that, SP3 um, uh, BTX, all right? And since we're in this quadrant of the um, uh, KISS flight controller, right on the bottom uh, um, where your ground to your BTX um, uh, minimum OSD goes, um, or your um, my BTX, my, well, it goes, that part is for the uh, minimum OSD. Um, right below it here, you have your um, buzzer um, if you choose to use it, which I always use a buzzer because, well, it helps you find a lost model in uh, tall grass. So um, right here is going to be your ground pad for your buzzer, right? And then this is your uh, positive for your buzzer, all right? So you can show you've got a buzzer on it right here, all right? Uh, just for a refresher right beside here, this ground pad, which is below the bu the buzzer ground pad, is actually for your uh, minimum OSD. All right. So uh, we're going to move along here. Um, pretty simple here for power um, uh, for your Kiss flight controller. If you'll look here, you've got your uh, minus and your plus here, uh, which is a pin holes uh, through holes. Um, and then it goes from the back here and it goes over here to my, sorry for the mess again, over here to my VCC ground and negative from my, I mean ground and positive from my um, PDB. So you can send full voltage uh, for 4S. I think it says it's up to good to 6S, but I'm using 4S on this build. You can bring the um, uh, full voltage to the flight controller. And another reason why you're going to want to do that is because you're going to be pulling your voltage from your flight controller for your OSD. So you do want to make sure you send full voltage to the uh, KISS flight controller. All right, moving along here. Now, um, this is going to be your, um, I've got the XSR uh, Free Sky XSR receiver. Um, now, you, you, it's going to be kind of hard to explain them all um, as far as the side pins um, because, um, uh, you know, unless you want to count over. So if you will, if you will freight face the board just like I have it right here, um, if we'll come on over here, 
Um, right here is your telemetry wire from your um, uh, receiver. All right. So if you're not doing telemetry on your receiver, you won't have to worry about that wire. Um, this wire right here. Uh, don't get confused with this white wire. This white wire is not the t the uh, S bus wire. Um, right here is your S bus wire on this end. This is your positive wire uh, from your receiver, and then your negative wire from your receiver. Now, with Beta Flight, you're able to use the um, um, the current from an external PDB. Um, I don't have KISS ESC, so uh, that's a whole different story. But I, this wire right here, this white wire right here is, uh, I think it's beside the pitch. Um, it, and it's going, that is your uh, current sensor wire. It goes from here to my PDB right here. So if we can get this a little bit closer into the picture, my PDB here. Um, Right there is my current sensor wire. Um, now, my current sensor wire has a ground pad beside it. I didn't use that, uh, so, and it seems to be working fine. All right, um, and just so you know what this PDB is, um, it's going to be in the description, but this is the Lumineer um, uh, PDB. It's supposed to be good up to 6S. All right, um, so let's move along to... Let's go ahead and finish up the SP3 VTX. All right, so on this side right here, um, uh, for these two pins right here, this is your positive and your negative. Now you can send up to 4S to this, but um, I'm going to play it safe on this VTX, and I am running the... Um, positive and negative to the PDB um, to my uh, 10 volt uh, positive and negative um, on my PDB. That way I don't have to worry about um, voltage spikes since it is only good up to 4S. Um, so, um, but it's going straight into the uh, power on here. Um, no, okay. Then um, we've got our camera using the um, a rotor right swift. Um, it's going to be coming out right here. Now these last three pins here are going to be your. It's going to be five volts, not full. I'm not full from the ten volt pad. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm coming ten volts into here, and then here. Now you do have direct voltage, uh, full voltage from whatever this receives with these these wires right here for your camera, but I chose to use the five volt pin, which is on the end here of this connector. So you're gonna have 10 volts coming into the main board and then you're gonna have another step down for five volts to your camera. Right here in the end, of course, you got your video, your um, ground, and then your five volt right there coming out to your camera, all right? So that pretty much covers the VTX here which has, like I said, once again, uh, this has got minimum OSD on it. So far, I'm kind of, I'm pretty impressed with the, um, the uh, how the uh, minimum OSD is working with the uh, KISS flight controller with beta flight on it. Um, I haven't, like I said, I haven't got it up in the air, but from my testing to make sure everything works, everything seems to be pretty good. Uh, I'm able to get into where I can, and I change my PIDs. Um, uh, and all that stuff. So that's great since I'm going to be putting a pod on top of this and not be able to access it. All right. Now for probably the hardest part is the motor um, wiring order. Now you've got a one, a PDWM1, PWM2, 3, 4, and um, uh, I don't think you've got a five. Yeah, you, it goes all the way to six. Goes all the way to six. Obviously, we're only going to use four. So, um, uh, we're going to look over here, and because these are wired up 
to um, by numbers is according to beta flight. Um, your um, your signal one, your signal one ESE that you're going to be using uh, for beta flight is going to trace this wire down. It's going to be going to PWM three. So ESC one, which is going to be in the beta flight order. Um, so this is the back. So you go one, two, three, and four. So it needs to be in that order. Um, so uh, ESC one um, goes to PWM three. All right. Uh, ESC two, um, which is the signal two. Actually, um, if we'll have to turn the board over. Oh, I'm sorry. I probably didn't have it in the shot. Um, ESC1 um, goes to PWM3. Just kind of look at the way I've got my face my board. Um, um, and I'm not running ground for my ESCs either. I'm going to try one without that. Um, so that's why I've only got one wire on it. So if you, you just kind of look at the board, count down. Uh, this is uh, ESC1, which is PWM3. All right. Um, ESC2. Um, is going to be on the back side of the board if I can get it turned over here. ESC2 is going to be on the back side here. There's my ESC2. And it actually goes to PWM2. All right. So this is the one that actually lines up. All right. So now we're going to go over to our ESC3, which is over here. And. There's my ES3C3 wire, and it actually goes on the same side as 2. So ESC3 wire goes to PWM4, which is right here on this side of the board. Once again, you're going to have to count the pins down, um, which may uh, make it a little bit easier. All right, so now we have one more ESC, which is 4. Here is my ESC4. And it goes on this side of the board, and it goes to PWM1, all right? ESC4 goes to PWM1, all right? So that is pretty much the wiring um, for the, um, uh, the KISS flight controller, um, and getting all them features um, working. Um, the big thing was the minimum OSD because, like I said, I was going to have a pod on here. I wanted to make sure that I could um, change out. So um, these different ways that I've wired up this, as far as minimum OSD, would be the same wiring if you use a different VTX and minimum OSD on its own. Or you could just bypass the minimum OSD altogether and just run your VTX separate. So, all right, hopefully that was helpful. Um, uh, I haven't really seen much online as far as how to get this thing wired up. Um, I did have to do some certain configurations in beta flight. Um, I will be running through them on a separate video. Um, this is just going to be my wiring. So, um, of course, you know, all the other standard things go, you know, you got your, I had to uh, cross my wires um, on three and two to make sure that uh, my motor spent the right way. They all spin in, did the standard way. Um, and then these two motors are wired. Uh, the three wires are straight to ESC. Um, then I've got my, you know, of course, my positive and ground to my PDB. Uh, and then my signal wire actually goes through my PDB to these pads over here. So I didn't have to worry about that big mess of wire. So um, also, um, as far as I know, you do have to uh, configure your ESCs on a uh, beta flight board, not the KISS. It has no pass through unless you, I think there's some CLI commands you can do to get it to work. Um, I just had an old board that had a bad header on it and I used it to flash my ESCs and make sure they're all the same. Um, or if you wanted to reverse your motors through your, ES, through your BL Heli, you could do that too. Um, I just choose to uh, across my wires um, so all right here you go and thanks a lot for watching